Hello Sagittarius, thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to be doing a quick general reading for you. Something that you're not expecting, but it would benefit you to expect it. These are going to be general, but if you'd like something personal, you can check out the description. And I'm going to put the intention out that we're looking at September specifically. So, one more. Let me see what's going on for you. What's happening for Sagittarius Ooh, that they don't expect? What's going on for Sagittarius? Hmm, Seven of Wands. Okay, so fighting for something. Um, I'm feeling like you might be, you're trying to achieve something is kind of what I'm feeling. Or trying to protect something or you're fighting something off. Okay, show me more for Sagittarius, or this is someone in regards to you, mm, show me more, I want to say trying to make something happen, okay, we have three of swords, so someone could be fighting off low vibrational thoughts and emotions, someone could be purging or dealing with a heartbreak of some kind, okay, um, there could be some Thing where someone was in a connection where they're having to defend themselves quite a bit. There could have been a lot of fighting here. Okay, and there's heartbreak right now currently with this. Or there just was. Someone fought was fighting through heartbreak, someone was dealing with something. Trying to achieve peace um, and happiness. So someone was, I'm feeling like someone was dealing with a heartbreak in a healthy way. Someone fought for themselves. Okay, show me more. Um, someone could be heartbroken over you too. They're trying to win you back. Uh, show me more. Show me more about this for Sagittarius. Death. Yeah, but there's, it, it, it's, it's, it's done, is kind of what I'm getting from that, sorry about the stuttering. It's like, someone could be trying to get someone back, but this death energy, there's something, it's over. Okay. Alrighty. Alright, show me more for Sagittarius. Okay, Ten of Cups. Someone's moving towards the Ten of Cups. They want to achieve, you know, ultimate happiness, ultimate fulfillment. So there could be something, um, well, this could be someone you're connected with. Someone could be ending something with a third party. Um, there could have been a lot of fighting in that connection. And it's for the purpose of this death energy is moving towards the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, the, the Ten of Cups. This ultimate happiness energy. Fulfillment emotionally. Sorry, it's not really. It's kind of dark. <clears throat> so, this ending is positive no matter how hard it may seem because the ending is leading to the Ten of Cups. Okay. Show me more here for Sagittarius. Show me more for Sagittarius. Okay, Four of Pentacles. So, so for something, someone was having to, someone was staying very stagnant, first of all. Someone, someone's life was kind of put on hold, and it feels like because of a connection or because of something that was heartbreaking. Even if it isn't a romantic connection, it's kind of like, it, it, even if it's a family member, it's something that was causing a lot of conflict, a lot of heartbreak, and it's needing to be put to rest um, because it was causing an extreme amount of stagnancy is what I want to say. And also someone had to be very defensive. Someone had to stick up for themselves too much or like, fend something off too much and it kind of because someone had to defend themselves so much it was kind of like all their energy was being put to that and trying to hold on to what they had left like even if it wasn't financially it's like all, what energy they had left because it feels like it was very draining um, the seven of wands is kind of like a lot of work it takes a lot of effort a lot of energy 
it's just to hold on to what you already had. It's not something wasn't growing. Okay. Show me more for Sagittarius. You could have you could be there could be someone who is very codependent financially. Wow. Oh, what's falling out? Three of cups. Okay. So if this is someone separate from you that's dealing with a third party, there's there's like there's a lot of like um, memories that this person has of you that are heartbreaking. But it's also with with it coming out after the Three of Swords, it's kind of like the Three of Swords is the cat is a catalyst type situation for this death energy. So there could be some memory. Um, with you that's causing an ending, like a memory or an energy or something that's happening with you that's ending a third party in another connection. Or this is you. Um, there's a lot of, there's a soulmate energy here. Also, you know, the situation's mirroring past lives. Um, whatever's ending here, it's like, this is something that's helping a past life situation heal um, so it can be done right this time um, or so it can something can be cleared transformed okay show me more Sagittarius Nine of Swords. So there's a lot of anxiety or overthinking in regards to ending something or um, letting something fall away. So there's there that's being worked through. There you could someone's purging. Someone's doing a lot of purging. Someone could also be having um, dreams that are difficult. I'm kind of feeling someone could be being reminded of you if this is separate from you. If you're not going through this current heartbreak and this ending someone separate from you with a third party with it being three of swords like there could be like a lot of overthinking about memories and it's like a lot of purging too which is causing a lot of transformation someone could be doing a lot of crying if this isn't you and this is the connection that you have you could be feeling this going on you could like not like you could be getting like anxiety at random times, but it's not necessarily you, you know what I mean? If this is a connection outside of you. Okay, show me more of this Ten of Cups, but it's it's purging and releasing and transforming to go to this really, really happy place. So can you show me more for Sagittarius? Three of Cups, okay, yeah, so like a reconciliation, celebration type energy coming together healing a third party situation too there's something there's something where something is working out smoothly um, like this energy with ten of ten of cups three of cups like everyone's getting along <laughs> everyone's you know happy and it's after some like darker energy it's like okay yeah it's even like it it's like kind of dark and then it gets like a little bit grayish and like there's a little bit of yellow here with the memories like the happiness is with the memories but it's like grayish over here and like really intense and then it's like really dark right here and then all of a sudden it's like blue skies and color so it's kind of like a progression of like something started off like kind of difficult and then it kind of got darker and then it's lead like the darkest part led to like the most the brightest part here and again, this could be someone going through something in regards to you. This could be a twin flame situation. There could be a lot of purging going on. But it's definitely a soulmate energy with the Six of Cups here. So can you show me more about this here with the Six of Cups and the Three of Swords here? Show me more. Page of Wands. Okay, so yeah, for those of you who's going, this, there's, who are, <laughs> those of you, I can't speak, those of you um, that are going, this is someone that's connected with you, like there could be like memories or something that's going on that's making someone wanting to reach out.
um, could be making someone want to take a risk, or this is you. This could be you. Like, you could be, you could be in a, like, you're in some sort of karmic situation. This could be you, where you're in some sort of karmic situation that you're having to, you're, you're kind of like, it's keeping you stagnant. It takes a lot of your energy away, having to defend yourself. You're just trying to achieve happiness and peace here. And it's kind of like there's memories of someone from your past that um, make you want to end something. So your third party, you could have a third party. Or again, this is someone in regards to you. Ending a third party. And it's kind of like, I don't know, there's some memories or over even dreams that are it's pushing someone. It's making someone um, move in a certain direction. What's the overthinking about? What's what is what's being thought about? Like what's someone thinking of? It didn't quite come out. What's what's the overthinking about? There could be need to be some like throat throat chakra stuff being done. There needs to be the emperor. Okay, masculine energy, or it's the or it's the emperor who's overthinking. Show me more. Um, we're stepping into Divine Masculine energy for Twin Flames here. Or Soulmates, it's Divine Counterparts. Show me more about the overthinking. Okay, Six of, six of Pentacles. So, someone could be worried about not being able to give enough, or someone's, someone also could be overthinking about... like not um, getting what they deserve or not receiving what they're worth. Someone's also really stressed because someone who has a third party, it's like, it takes a lot of energy out of them. So it's like someone's stressed out of, and overthinking about, like thinking about one person and giving to another person for those where this is a third party situation that's going on. Someone's stressed out about how something can work. Um, for those of you where this is a family member type situation or some someone who's codependent on you financially, um, there's stress about being able to keep that up and someone's realizing that can't be kept up because maybe someone's like taking all their money or something or someone's needing too much assistance, too much help financially. So it's like there's a lack of balance and someone's wanting balance with that. There's a, a, definitely a sense of someone just wanting peace. <laughs> um, so show me more about this energy over here. Okay, Knight of Cups. Yeah, so there's something that's moving forward. Lots of cup energy. Lots of love here. There's a reconciliation. There's some opportunity that's very fulfilling. Opportunity of love. So someone going through this death energy, this ending, is leading someone to a very, very happy, fulfilling situation um, that has to do with love. So... Um, yeah, so show me more about what Sagittarius can expect with this. What should, what else should Sagittarius be aware of? What else should Sagittarius be aware of? Okay, Knight of Swords, a communication. There's something that's moving. Um, there's something that's progressing, um, but specifically Knight of Swords, there's some communication. Show me more. Ooh. What else is Sagittarius needing to be made aware of? There's something that could be moving very quickly after um, purging. Wow. Judgment. There's a decision that's been made. Someone's decided to move in a certain direction. Also, um, you're, the, the energies around you are like, there's already a path that's chosen. There's already a direction that's being moved towards. And there was some resistance on this path here, and it was causing quite a bit of stagnancy and unhappiness. Um, but yeah, that's being purged. And again, this could be you, this could be divine masculine or divine feminine, whoever you're connecting with. Um, but it specifically feels like, you know, there's a lot of overthinking with this masculine energy. Um, or about this masculine energy. Okay. Okay. 
someone could be needing to heal and like purge certain um, negative thoughts about a divine masculine too. Okay. Any other messages for Sagittarius? And then I'm going to end it. Any other messages for Sagittarius? What else do we need to say to Sagittarius? Wow, temperance and the devil. Oof. Yeah, there's some sort of karmic situation that's being balanced out. Balance is being achieved. Show me more about the devil here, though. This also is indicating some codependencies that, that's being, it's being balanced out. Something's being made like fair and balanced. Uh, if you had in the, there, if there was a code, really codependent person in the past, um, especially financially, there could be some like pay, repayment, whether from that person or from the universe for what you have given. <clears throat> so, like this, this temperance energy is helping this devil energy kind of um, go through the death energy, go through the transformative energy. Okay. Show me about the devil. Three of Pentacles. Okay, yeah. So, a lot of effort and work that was being put into something because of some sort of codependency, but there's also another three um, indicating some sort of third party. Okay, yeah. So, there's some attachment where something was trying to be... Someone was trying to make something work. And that's being released. Show me about temperance, and then we're done. Show me about temperance here. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's something that's being made fair. Okay, wow, that's a lot of communication. Someone's seeing this intuitively, feeling this intuitively, too. There could be a lot of, like, telepathic communication going on. If this is a spiritual connection, someone that you're dealing with, you could be feeling a lot of conflict. But the Eight of Wands here, this is some sort of physical communication. And the Ace of Swords. Wow, yeah. Lots of communication energy. Absolutely, and something that's being felt intuitively. There's it, something's being made fair. If if you had put a lot of energy into a divine counterpart, that's being balanced and it's be, being reciprocated, where in the past it wasn't. Um, okay, so thank you, Sagittarius. Um, best of luck going through your situation. If this resonated, I really hope that it provided you with guidance and clarity. Um, I hope it made sense to you, and lots and lots and lots and lots of love to you as always. Bye.